Keeper, um, unofficial that is. And all the lighthouses are computer controlled now. We, we are extinct as keepers, you know, we are no more. The thing was, I left eight years ago last November. I did my last watch, I had a glass of beer and a cigarette, and I walked away. Go, go, go. I didn't look back. What's it like below tonight? Warm enough, sir? I cried my bloody eyes out, I, I really did. But the lamps keep on turning. They will, they always will do that. They keep on turning, they sweep. They will, they always will do that. They keep on turning, they sweep. And um and um but they sweep. But they sweep. They keep on turning, they sweep. They always will do that. I was born in the lighthouse, my father was a lighthouse keeper, I grew up in the lighthouse, so I had my 18th birthday party within the lighthouse, you know, and I wanted to die there. I just couldn't live in it. I sat there, I couldn't do it. So what I did, I bought the lighthouse back from the government. Ships. Cost me a fortune. But I got my home back. The only villain is the sea. The cruel sea. The cruel sea. The cruel sea. The cruel sea. The last lighthouse keeper. I love it. You know, people think I'm mad, and I say to them, think of the things I've seen, think of the lives I've saved, think of the storms, think of the skies. It's like living on the edge of the world. Moonlight waves, ships, cities of steel, monsters, clouds of coal cats, giant rats. Sometimes the sky and the sea come together, and the lightning flashes, and you see faces in the sky, ships, cities of steel, monsters, clouds of coal cats, giant rats. Steel monsters, clouds of waves, ships, giant rat monsters, coal cats, faces in the sky, coal cats, faces of steel monsters, clouds of monsters. You know, people think I'm mad. Living in a giant candle, winking at God. <laughs> There's no corners. Bridge step charge. Better be up. <laughs> Bridge step charge. Bridge step charge. Bridge step charge. I had one last, Gemma. Her name was, and she tried to throw herself off the top. Poor thing, you know. I gave her a glass of hot milk with a dash of rum. I sent her home to her mum. It's not for everyone, the life of a lighthouse keeper. In a way, you're always going round in circles. But, you know, I like that. But... Generally, you don't get involved with 
all the boats on the ocean that you see. There's too many. You know, you'd spend half the day on top of the balcony screaming at people, you know. But I have seen so many different sea crafts. God, I mean, you know, long boats, short boats, galleons, tea clippers, speed boats. I saw a dog once in a rowing boat. You know, that's hard to believe. He was straining, you know. I was, go on, Rover. I screamed at him, little fella, you know. But he was rowing a boat, a dog, you know. It's hard to believe. But if you think about the amount of boats, the amount of animals there are in the world, it's not that strange. I think he was some sort of terrier. But I'm not loving me dogs, you know. So I wouldn't know exactly what he was. But he was bloody rowing hard. I saw a fridge once. Just went by, you know. Just crashed up against the rocks there. I went down there, but it was all broken up. And before you ask, yes, hurricanes can and do throw fish and animals high in the air. I had a weather system drop 15 sheep right into the bay below, you know. Right into the bay below the house, which I saved nine, and I ate two of them. Uh, my cousin came round and helped me, uh, you know, take the hair off them. Um, we didn't eat them all. We, threw, we, we tried to save some, and the, the freezer broke. And uh, I ended up giving some away to some school children. People say... Don't you get lonely? And I say, how, how can you be lonely when you're watching the greatest show on earth? The sea and the sky, together, 24 hours a day. That is the greatest canvas man has. You know. Hang on, I think there's someone at the door. Wait there, one ticket. One ticket. One ticket. One ticket. One ticket. Oh, wow.